Intermittent claudication is painless at first. However, every fifth of our fellow citizens over 65 is concerned. Mr. Müller wants to be secure and has his family doctor perform an ABI measurement. Thereby, vascular diseases can be discovered early. This is important because the risk of death is doubled otherwise. We are going to examine you and afterward I will perform a so-called ABI measurement on you, which is a bloodless method of examination. For our patients, this ABI measurement is a good early warning system. By the ABI measurement, the blood pressure is measured on both upper arms and both lower legs. The data is transferred to the device and calculated. The determination of the ankle brachial index via the Bozo ABI system is done simultaneously at both upper arms and lower legs in just one minute, which is comparable to blood pressure measuring. The quotient of both measurements is the ABI value. Since there are no blood pressure fluctuations, this measurement is very precise and is well much faster than the former ultrasound Doppler. We have your results now, let me explain them to you briefly. We have a value of 0.9 on the right side. This value is all right. We also have the result of your body's left part. The value is 0.73, which is highlighted red here. So we need further examination. Well, actually I'm surprised that they found something. But it didn't hurt. It was just like normal blood pressure measurement. We called the patient for an examination within a few days. The examination was performed emulatory and we discovered more problems with the vascular system. In the following, the patient received a stand at his left carotid artery. When I was in Görlitz, where they told me that my carotid artery was almost entirely blocked and uh, that I wouldn't have much longer before I suffered a stroke, I felt quite bewildered. And then I stopped thinking, if only I had seen a doctor earlier. The early recognition of vascular diseases is especially vital in the family practice. We as angiologists demand that every physician, every family doctor has to be able to screen the patients for circulatory disorder. It is important that the blood pressure is measured simultaneously, so to say simultaneously at both arms and both legs, only then. When we measure simultaneously, we have entirely clear conditions at a clearly defined time. If I take one measurement after the other and it takes me about four or five minutes altogether, I get different results and the blood pressure values differ more and more. That doesn't allow me to compare properly. At which value do you speak of circulatory disorders? At an ankle brachial index of 0.9, that is what we know by definition. Then we are very certain if there is a disease or if there isn't any. It is very interesting that these results also correlate with the gold standard of all present examination methods, also with the so-called vascular imaging, and they correlate brilliantly with the duplex findings. I was the person in charge for planning the so-called GET ABI study, where we observed the frequency and development of the disease in German practices in cases with circulatory disorder. And we found out that every fifth patient is affected by the disease, when we didn't even know before that there was a circulatory disorder. That puts us in a place that we are able to do everything by medication, in ways of so-called secondary prevention, and we have to do it all in order to prevent an early death to prevent heart attacks and strokes, to prevent patients from dying 10 years too early. The use of the ABI measurement in the family practice can literally save your life. Without the doctor's device, I would never have made it.